I am Sri from CBTU. CBTU presents a course on data science. Section What is most powerful computer language? We have so many languages Java, C, Python, C Sharp, Ruby, Perl, and so many languages. In the context of data science, let us know what is the powerful language. The confusion always comes to mind when so many languages are there. It's always beneficial to pick the trending one as it adds value to your profile. DIOB Index of Programming Community is a measure of popularity of a programming language. DIOB, what it stands for? The importance of being earnest. It's the title of comedy play on Oscar Wilde that was first performed in 1895. Here is the index for August 2019. It gives comparison of a language with the ratings and the change from the previous year. As per this, Java is ranked as the number one language preferred by the programmers. It has a rating of 16%, slightly down by less than 1%. And at the number two position is C language. And it's giving neck to neck competition with Java and it's growing every year. At the third position is Python language. It has improved on the rating over one year. It has a rating of 10% and it's continuously increasing. And the change as it shows is around 3%. Let us see what are the latest ratings. This is the TIOB website. We have the data for number 19. So you see the C is getting close to Java and the Swift enters top 10 position. Java maintains the number one position year on year with a rating of 16% and it was slightly down from previous year and C language takes the number two position this year and the last year as well with 16% rating with an increase of 1.64% C language is giving neck to neck competition with Java the Python language has displaced the C++ from third position this is an improvement over the previous year the rating is 9.84% with a 2% hike. At the fourth position is C++. It has a rating of 5.6% with a 2% down. And at fifth is C Sharp. At sixth position is Visual Basic. And JavaScript is at seven. PHP is at eight. It's maintaining at position and overall rating is 1.7%. SQL stands at 9th rank and Swift. It has improved from 12th rank to 10th rank. And another important language is R. R language is very much convenient to use in data science and it still needs to gain its right position. As of now, it is at 16 with around 1% rating. We hope the position will improve for the R when more and more people start adopting this language. This is Java. Here is the chart since 2001 and if you see the rating for Java, it's on the decline. There's not much difference 10 years back and now for the Java. And coming to the C. Around 2018, the usage went down to 6.8%. For two years, between 2016 and 2018, the rating for the C were poor. The rating for C fluctuated a lot. And the trend is now on the increase. The rating now and a decade back almost the same. And let us look at the third one. The rating for the Python is on the steady increase. And between 2018 and now, for the last one year, if you see the growth is tremendous. Explore the trends for other languages. C++ on the continuous decline. C Sharp is steady at around 5%. Visual Basic.net is on the increase with slight fluctuation. JavaScript is steady at 2-3%. PHP, the most popular web language, is on the decline now. This is SQL, steady at 2-3%. You explore this site for more information. Here is the list of top 50 languages. And also it mentions the next 50 programming languages. 
This is a long history tracking. Python gained to third position from 21st position in 1999. C++ gave second and third position in favor of C and Python. 2018 Programming Language of the Year was given to Python and in the previous year it was given to C. Last Hall of Fame for Python was in 2010. Coming to these ranks and ratings, let us know on what basis TOB gives the ranks and the ratings. The index is calculated from the number of search engine results for queries containing the name of the language. The index covers searches in Google, Google Blogs, MSN, Yahoo, Wikipedia, and YouTube. The index is updated once a month. The final report what you are seeing is free. And if you want the statistical data behind this report, that is available at a cost from the others. They are charging a nominal fee because of their administrative effort that went in to bring this report. This is TOB quality indicator. TOB checks more than a billion lines of software code for its customers worldwide in real time each day. And they will read the code and they issue the rating as well. Back to our presentation. This report is for Zoom. So the TOB index is all about the language in which most lines of code have been written. Python stands at third rank in the TOB index. It is all popular because it is all-purpose scripting language for data munging, that is data wrangling. Data wrangling is the process of transforming and mapping data from one raw data form to another format. This is a value addition for the data which will be used in analytics. And Python can be comfortably used for data mining. And the next we have scikit-learn package. It's a machine learning in Python. It contains simple and efficient tools for data mining and data analysis. It's built on NumPy, SciPy and Matplotlib. And above all, it's open source, commercially usable with BSD license. We'll take a demo of scikit-learn in the coming sessions. And the next popularly used language in data science is R. And it's a free software environment for statistical computing and graphics. And it's supported by R Foundation for statistical computing. R language is widely used among statisticians and data scientists. It easily fits in machine learning and data science with simplicity in writing code. And it offers visualization packages for Graphy Shiny Report. And we'll be covering R at a great length in the coming sessions. This is TOB homepage. This is the trends for various languages. As we have seen, Java stands at the number one rank in the TOB index. Java is a popular programming language for its security features and it is used in business applications and widely used in mobile development. The mobile you carry in your palm may be definitely Java enabled. That is how the mobile development helped Java to grow and take wider acceptance. Java is widely used in distributed applications, server-side applications and web applications as well, that is servlets. Python is widely used in applications, general, web, scripting, artificial intelligence, and scientific computing. This put together, it's a data science and machine learning. R is gaining focus from developers, and however, it's widely used in data science applications and statistical analysis. And Julia is the next language that is widely used in data science. We have briefly discussed about the powerful languages. If you want to succeed in data science field, master Python and R and that's going to help you. Thanks for watching.